Hey y'all, this is an intro to the week number 7 of 26, season 9. It's uh, 6 months on, 6 months off, roughly, for each build season. And um, that's in relation to OG Foundation, this is the ninth season. For Elodium, this is the 5th season, because there was 4 full years of building OG Foundation and establishing the sovereign territory before my Elodium was staked to the cooperative of Elodium, creating the sovereign state of Elodium, along with other sovereigns, through the affirmation, which is on the website, Elodium.is. Elodium.is. Um, more progress this week on the gate tower, which has been the primary focus. So, uh, here's everything that, uh, that was done. And just a little caveat, uh, we have our own currency, appreciation tokens. It's a proof of work and proof of stake blockchain currency, but it's not a cryptocurrency. So the work isn't being done by, um hashing computers it's being done by the labor of humans and the stake is the accumulation of appreciation tokens which are converted into a stake in Elodium for the stakeholders um, so that's all for the intro and uh, here's all of the, pr the the proof of the work Coat number two, and it is all sloped to the drain. It's just got to dry, and then I'll do a water drainage test. Next step is to insulate this platform from this chimney pipe. The platform is very close to the chimney pipe, and therefore that wood needs to get insulated. So I'm going to build a little box around the wood using this hardy board foam it in and I'll check in once it's done so the hardy board is all cut all protected underneath and now I'm going to apply a little bit of mortar to this crack on the inside and outside before I foam it and uh, that'll take a little a little while for the mortar to set and then for the foam to set and then to secure this so I'll do that and then move on to the next task so it's the end of the day on Tuesday and these stairs are finished nice and clean and pretty square happy with the uh, with the result and I put that piece of plywood up here as like a counter and there's space under the day or for a fridge and this is where the sink is gonna go I just kind of got it in place this is all very minimal minimal material usage and what I've got here is just a tiny little bit of mortar. I'm going to mortar the back of the sink up against the tire wall. Because right now, it's just kind of leaning against it. Plus on this piece of wood. But it's like right up on the edge there. So, um, I'll just smear some mortar under there so it's got a bit of support on the back. And this is where the sink will be. Very simple, and I'll do the plumbing later, and at some point I might frame around it, but um, it's level on the front, level front to back, so might as well just cement it into place. And this is as simple as it gets. Probably add some kind of wooden boxes. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bird's nest over here. It's actually got some, some eggs in it. <laughs> Um, probably add some wooden boxes and screw them into that post there. And otherwise it's kind of like a standing bar or maybe a tall seat in here. 
a couple of chairs would be good or anyways that's uh that's how it is now i think the mortar on the end there is mostly cured but i'll wait till tomorrow to do the water test and then this uh here i got mortar in the corner on the inside and out and underneath the hardy board and tomorrow um, i'll give that some more time to cure and then tomorrow i'll add the foam before i do the hardy board on top and then i'll end up doing some tile on top of the hardy board and then i'll have to do the floor but that's all for today so the task for today is the flooring in here got all this recycled flooring that someone had removed to get nice hardwood floors and uh, it's all kind of new to me how to install it and whatnot but that's uh that's where we're starting for today and the sink let's see if i can show you i was able to put a little bit of mortar in that corner and a little bit of mortar underneath that end so now it's just the mortar holding it in the back. So I could take out that other board and I'll add more mortar, but uh, it's nice to have the sink in place. And once it's really secured, I can start the figuring out the plumbing. It's Wednesday evening. I really thought I was gonna get further than that. But I spent a lot of time trying to fix the nail there, took it all apart, and um, that's as far as I got today. So it is Thursday afternoon, got most of this flooring done, and even doing a little bit of trim work which is unusual for me but I got this I got two of these boards here in the coal lumber 70% off at Home Depot so I was like oh, I could probably probably use those for something so there's a couple places where there's cracks visible and I didn't glue it I nailed it so there's a couple places where it creaks a tiny bit but still, it's a big improvement from the particle board underneath. Next up, I got to seal it really well. And this sink that uh, that little mortar bond I had made broke while I was hammering these pieces in and shaking the platform. So I waited to reapply the mortar. And I haven't done that yet. So it's held up by wood again. So I'll get it all level and then apply more, more mortar there. And then this little area got all foamed. And then uh, you can see over there the top of the foam that I cut off of it. And then in case in the hardy board, then I'll end up doing tile. And that should be plenty of insulation for the chimney. And uh, I'm not going to take the couch back down. I'm even going to have to move it somewhere to get the sealant going. But this is, uh, this is how it's looking now. I'm going to put some PT flooring down over this ugly looking step to make uh, that look a little bit better. And uh, that's all for now. Okay, here's the water drain test. I haven't... This is the first try. It's really hard to see in the camera, but um, there's a little bit here, but it's all still draining slowly. There's very little slope right there. This side is totally drained. It's got a little bit more slope because the drain is off center due to where the tires are underneath. 
but uh, looks like it drains all the way, pulls a tiny bit right here. But it's still draining very slowly. So I might have to add a little bit, but honestly, I'd probably just seal it like that and um, not even worry about that because it's cement. Well, I don't know. There's a tiny little pinhole there. You see that? So I should probably just add a tiny bit of water there just to be safe. But um, at least most of it is good. That would be kind of a pain in the butt to add that, honestly. So I'll figure that out later, but there's the water test. I am a total noob at tile, and I don't have those little cross thingies that make a spacing right. But I'm about to attempt this feature. So that's what this looks like. I'm sure I messed it up. And it's not fully even, and some of those might be a little bit loose, but I'm going to try to just keep it in place like that. And then grout around the outside in a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how long I'm supposed to wait for that either, but for anything that's loose, hopefully the grout in the middle, in the between them, will keep it in place. I guess i got to do that pretty quick before the other stuff dries. And then I just added more up under here to reinforce... This thing getting mortared into mortared into the wall, and that'll be a, a process. It'll take a little time, and I'll probably add some lath on that side. But it'll just take several batches or several little applications to get that really uh, sturdy in place. Uh, so now I'm moving on to something else. Oh yeah, next up is these. Uh, cinder blocks under here the first course was mortared in you know, it's got all this stuff in the way but i'm going to get the second course aligned and then i'm going to fill it all with cement and that's the next thing then we end up putting those tiles upon the top of the second course all right i'll check in later Okay, so we've got some polyurethane for this floor here. So we're going to clean it up, nail in any nails that are sticking out, move this couch, and apply the first coat. First coat of polyurethane is applied. That lighting looks kind of cool reflecting off of there. Uh, it'll take several coats. And uh, I think that's the end of work for today. Good morning, y'all. So as we're only a day or two away from the summer solstice, I am transitioning, I guess, from the spring mentality into the summer mentality which is basically hyper-efficient, hyper-focused on production. And um, I've realized that I've been spending so much time, wasting so much time, really, but there's some value to it, but I've been spending so much time on the Internet and just kind of wasting energy between uh, following the Russia-Ukraine conflict on the right hand and uh, Bitcoin Cash on the left hand. And so I'm going to be stepping back from all of this wasted time. And uh, hyper-focusing on projects and a lot less time online. So just as a little intro, um, the floor in there still isn't dried from yesterday because it was rainy. So it needs more time. So what I'm going to start out with today is I'm going to get this insulation panel on the ground here. So it's going to take a bit of excavation and everything, but basically it'll provide uh, what's called umbrella insulation 
that's going to come out from the the house to out and then I'll end up um, mortaring over it um, and that is that's what I'm going to do today and then uh, mortar this up to support this column here and tie it into that rock wall so this whole cavity here I got a mortar and then I'm going to end up pulling this tire out and removing a lot of this dirt which will um, make room for the gate but first step is digging this out and um, cutting this and setting this up in this area so it's all cleared out and gravel is down um, it's kind of even with the piece of wood which is at the the door jam is that what it's called at the foot of the door so after I add the insulation it, it's gonna be a slight step down to go inside which isn't ideal but seeing as I'm too lazy to dig all of that dirt down another two inches the future people will just step down into the door all right today is rocking it's like before 11 a.m. and uh, just feels like making a lot of progress ready for mortar for this whole section here on the right is insulated obviously and on the left is not insulated but I'm gonna mortar the whole thing remesh for the insulated area and then lath for the transitions Here's what it looks like after two batches, which is basically just one bag of mortar. And uh, I've got these obstacles up to try to keep the dog and the chickens off of it. So I'm basically going to leave it like that for now until it cures a bit more. And I should still be able to get in there uh, into the gate tower to do another coat of polyurethane after some breakfast coat number two of polyurethane is applied and got a little more coverage out here for this landing and got some of this mortar done over here which you can't really see but and then some on the other side I think I sniffed too much of that polyurethane while I was putting that coat on. But uh, that's all for now. One more coat of mortar on the gravelly part. So that's probably like a finished coat for most of that realistically. Or maybe it'll have one more with color or something like that. But uh, it's the end of the day, Sunday. It's been a very productive day. It is Monday evening. Just wrapping up for the weekly video. Got a little bit of help today. Cut up some firewood and got the stack started. It's maybe about a half a cord or something. So uh, we need about three cords for the winter I'm gonna to try to get up four and uh, it's a good start and over here if you can see these T posts that have been driven down real deep these are for um, kind of like anchor posts basically to uh, I'm gonna mortar them into the existing structure so that uh, there's less potential for it to shift so that was it over here for today and i will show you just a second um what i did on the other side meanwhile give you another little shot of the chickies i think it was yesterday morning we got a little shot of them and i was in a funky rooted mood but they're all uh, they're all doing great, happy and healthy. And uh, over here, 
made progress on this landing. So this side where the gravel is is all good to walk on. Just put another coat to cover this uh, insulated area. And um, all of it will need probably one more coat. At least the, that area will need at least one more coat. And make sure it's all sloped properly. But uh, this is a nice improvement. At some point I gotta build some sort of uh, enclosure here outside the door for where the composting toilet will go so that it's not in the living space and probably just like a little mud room type area where you would take your boots off and stuff and then in there coat number two of the poly polyurethane is drying and it's going to need at least one more coat to fill in all of those cracks in between some of the boards there so that Water can't get in there later. And uh, that's about it for this week. Apollo's hanging out in the kitty spot up there. And everything is all good. See you guys next week.